Our top story, brand new body cam video sharing some of the moments millions of dollars in precious gems turned up missing after a jewelry show in the Bay Area. An untold fortune vanishes from a Brinks semi truck and tonight it is still a mystery. Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. Uh, this was a heist that caught national attention because of the sheer value of the stuff that went missing at a truck stop in the middle of the grapevine last year. And to this day, no one has been caught. ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone has the new video and the lawsuits over who's at fault. That was... That was our seal. That's your seal. We had a lock on here. You had a lock on here, yeah? And it's gone. I don't even know where the lock is. We kind of okay. looked around for it, but there's nothing to be found. This is all new body camera video showing the aftermath of a jewelry heist. The two men you see here are Brink's security guards, one of whom came back to their truck to find a broken lock and bags of jewels that they were transporting gone. I counted 49. 49? Out of how many? 73. That's a lot. 24 bags containing millions worth of jewelry were stolen from this Brinks semi truck, according to this video from the LA County Sheriff's Department provided to us by a lawyer. The two guards had picked up the diamonds and other jewels at a show in San Mateo and were en route to Pasadena, according to their statements in this video. Investigators believe the theft of those bags happened at this truck stop in Lebec an unincorporated area along I-5 in the early morning hours. In fact, the video also records those from Brinks acknowledging that one guard was sleeping in the front of the truck, the other inside the Flying J getting a meal. My view, this isn't guarding the goods, and it's an unarmored trailer. Jerry Kroll represents 14 jewelers whose goods were stolen. Brinks has filed suit against them. They have filed suit against Brinks. It looks like there was just a, a padlock on the back. A padlock, two guards, one sleeping, the other inside, in our view, not guarding the goods. And you have, as it says on the tape, 23 mil at least 23 million on board. Something is wrong with this picture. But the amount stolen here is still up for debate. Today, how much of the inventory do you guys think you're carrying? About two and a half million in diamonds and jewelry. But then, later in the video, after making a call, guards confirmed this amount. Total value inside this thing before anything happens, 23 million. In a statement, those with Brinks say, according to the information the customers provided to us before they shipped their items, the total value of the missing items is less than 10 million. If these customers had accurately declared the value of their goods, Brinks would have implemented security measures commensurate with those higher transport values. And even in the event of a loss, we would have compensated the customers fully for their declared values. My clients did what they told them to do, which is put down how much insurance you want, which I think was a total of 8.7, that therefore that's the number and they're accusing my clients effectively of lying to them simply because my clients did what they asked them to do. What doesn't make sense to me is you would think the back half of the trailer would be empty rather than leapfrogging the stuff. Right. Why, why wouldn't you take that? I mean, right. like I said, I don't know, but it's hard to say unless they knew exactly what was in here. We learned during that video that different colored bags symbolize different values inside those bags. It's possible the thieves may have known that. In their statement, Brinks goes on to say, in this case, we, help up, we held up our end and, our, and fulfilled our contract, settling claims with three affected customers. The others have chosen to litigate, admitting under oath that they undervalued their goods and even did so regularly. Meantime, the search for the thieves continues. No criminal charges have been filed in this case. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.